Your life is about to be flipped over and thrown into the dark black void. Are you ready? Run. Hey everyone, and welcome back. So this is it. You, me, we're just about ready to reset and start our islands fresh. Exciting, right? But before we do, let's first review the do's and the don'ts of resetting your island. Let's get into it. Do have an idea about what you want to create on your next island. You don't need an extremely detailed map outlined and laminated, but definitely consider what your goals are for your next island adventure. What color scheme do you want to focus on? Is there an island theme that you want to try out? A big one to figure out is whether or not you want to keep the museum as a tent, because once you've reset and placed down Blather's tent at the beginning of the game, you're not going to be able to move it again until you upgrade it. So plan ahead and save yourself from the unnecessary stress later on. Please do not just up and leave all of the items and spare DIYs that you've collected to just be lost to the void. If you have a friend or a family member who plays Animal Crossing, or if you're just a ball of rocking a second Switch, keep at least the rarest items you have and your spare DIYs. This is really where having an idea about what you want to try next can come in handy. If you know that you want a fancy spa area or you know that you're curious to try out Jungle Core. This can really help you to prioritize what you keep. And especially remember to look through your cataloged items and your current list of DIYs. Remember to buy or craft at least a few of the specific items that you most want to keep and drop them off somewhere until you can go and recollect them. When your island is gone, so is everything else that you had access to. If you don't have a friend or a family member who can help, consider reaching out to like Facebook groups or Animal Crossing Discord servers. There are a lot of people who are willing to help you out. Just be mindful that if you decide to go that route, there are some people who may try to like rob you. So be mindful of that. Not everybody has good intentions. Do save your dream address for your current island. This is something I think a lot of people kind of forget to do, or maybe they just never thought about it. I mean, yeah, obviously you're deleting your island for a reason, but someday you may find yourself missing your old villagers, or maybe you just end up on a nostalgia kick. The ability to revisit your island after you've reset is just nice to have. To save your island's dream address, you'll need to go to bed in your house and speak with the NPC, Luna. She can walk you through all the steps and how to do it. I really wish that I could visit the first island I ever made, but since I reset before dream addresses were a thing, it's just gone. I didn't even take that many photos or record any video clips. And also keep in mind that you don't have to share your current island's dream address with anybody. It doesn't have to be a big deal or anything, you can just consider keeping it to yourself. You may visit, you may not, but I think that having the option to is just kind of important. Okay, so this next don't may seem kind of odd, but if you relate to this, you'll get it. <laughs> Don't rage reset. I've almost done this on a few separate occasions and I am not proud of it, but hey, it happens sometimes. Be sure that when you reset your island, you're doing so when you're not frustrated or overly emotional. It's sometimes really easy to get upset when a build just isn't going the way you want, and in the heat of the moment, the idea of starting fresh is just alluring and enticing. But even still, I encourage you to reconsider until you've at least had a chance to let your heart rate simmer down a little bit. When enraged, it's just never the right time to make an island-shattering decision. Do say goodbye whatever that means to you. It could be something as simple as taking a final stroll around your island and gifting all of your villagers a parting gift, or it could look like you running around like a maniac, chopping down trees and destroying areas, leaving nothing but a catastrophic wasteland in your wake. Remember that you put time and energy into your current island, and pay tribute to that. 
to yourself for the experiences that you had. I know it's kind of weird to seek closure in a sense while you're playing a goofy game, but it's still the end of a chapter. Acknowledge that. Please don't stress about your starter villagers. When their tents become houses, they're always empty and uninspired. This curse also follows the next few villagers that you can invite to your island. I don't think it's until you have your first campsite villager that they start having like their full decorated house. So especially at the beginning, do not waste your Nook Mile tickets. Do not get upset if you forget about a plot and it auto fills with Rodney. If you want your villagers to live in their proper, elegant homes, the first few you invite don't matter at all. Do spend an obscene amount of time picking out your island map. There are very few things in the game that are more frustrating or worse than having an island map that you hate. This also ties in perfectly with having a bit of a plan for your island. If you know that you want like a long pier or a big rock on the beach that you can decorate, that plays such a huge role in your island layout decision making process. I once spent three hours toying over which island I wanted to pick. Obviously that's a bit extreme and I don't recommend that you spend that much time on an island map, but definitely look at your options with a critical eye. And most importantly, do have fun. Take your time, both with resetting, make sure that you're fully prepared and you have everything ready. And with the start of your next island, endings and beginnings are things that we're supposed to treasure and just really soak up the experience of. Try not to feel rushed to do anything before you're ready and really be sure that resetting is what you want to do. Enjoy the experience and let go of any expectations you have for your next island. Definitely have a plan or like some small ideas that you want to work towards, but remember to give yourself room to be inspired and to just create spur of the moment things. Some of the best things that we make come from spur of the moment inspiration. Give yourself room to be inspired. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment letting me know what you're most excited about for your new island. I am honestly just super excited to see Tommy wandering around with his little flag. He's just so adorable. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!